at Center Georgia's Pompano. Center George's Pompidou was designed in the style of high-tech architecture by the architecture team of Richard Rogers and Renzo Piano. Constructed in 1977, Pompidou is classified as structural expressionism. The design concept was to expose the interior infrastructure. The different systems on the exterior of the building are painted different colors to distinguish their different roles. The structure and largest ventilation components were painted white. Plumbing and fire control piping painted green. Ventilation was painted blue. Stairs and elevator structures were painted a silver gray. The electrical elements are yellow and orange and the elevator motor rooms and shafts or the elements that allow for movement throughout the building are painted red. One of the movement elements that the center is most known for is the escalator, painted red on the bottom on the west facade, a tube that zigzags up to the top of the building, providing visitors with an astonishing view of the city of Paris. The major circulation throughout the building is consists of a vertical elevator and a horizontal escalator connecting all the floors. There are five major programs in Centre Pompidou. A large atrium is located at the centre of the building from level B2 to level 1. The very south side from level 2 to 4 is used as the public library of information. To the north side from level 3 to 5, there is the National Museum of Modern Art. Industrial Creation Center is distributed on different levels. If you are looking for a place to bring your significant other, Restaurant George's on the terrace will be top notch. <music> dark, the plaza space is still a very dynamic space. Look, oh, never mind. A further important element was the architect's intention to create a meeting space not only for the art lover, but also for the residents. The large, slightly sloped paved piazza in front of the building fulfills this role introducing the high-tech structure of the building to its traditional surroundings and Paris street life. On his website, Richard Rogers notes that Pompidou proves that modernity and tradition can profitably interact and enhance historic cities. Structure-wise, 
The most salient invention of Pompidou is the jabberette. Take two steel columns. On each column, place a jabberette. Join the columns with a large crossbeam. The structure is unstable. But attach a metal tie rod from the end of the jabberettes to the ground, and the system becomes a stable portico. The force required to hold the beam in place is spread between the poles and the rod with the jabberette acting as the fulcrum. Repeat the system to make the building 6 levels high and 14 porticos long.